So tell the people this. Because everybody here look, you know, this and that about our guy. Tell them about how it is to be on the road with the pimp. It's an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> Every time it's going to be an adventure, bro. Uh, I know it. Especially coming to Dallas. Man. Oh, man. I remember uh, the last show uh, coming to Dallas, Thanksgiving 07. Yes, sir. And Bentley, he drove the red Bentley. He got a flat tire on the motherfucker. He left that bitch at the rest stop. Yeah. On 22s, rubber bands. Yeah. Fuck this Bentley. I can't be late for the show. I'm going to get my back in. He left was, the Bentley though. Son, somebody go get the car, put, do, do all this shit. And it was ready for That's us. when I, I met all y'all. Yeah. Well, I no, met you no, at the hotel. No. That's when I got introduced right. to the other cats. Right. Yes, yes, right. yeah. At the Magnolia, downtown Dallas. Yes, sir. Yeah, that was Club Blue that night, wasn't it? Yeah, Club Blue. Yeah. He about to come stay at my house with me. Hey, man. Then he, I'm going to uh, go stay with Bobo. Hey, man. I'm, Bobo, I'm staying with you. I'm going to sleep on the couch. <laughs> nigga, we, nigga, nigga, we going to kick it all night. Yeah. Nigga, me and Bo- <sighs> Then right after the show, it's like, Bobo, <sighs> found something soft to lay. <laughs> man, was that the last time you seen, bro? That was the last time. Two weeks later, it was, shh, we got the news. That was the last time. Hurt me. When my last time talking to him. Last time seeing him. Last time seeing him. Right. And it was like, I remember, bro, we was at the, um, I was at the radio station. And we were talking about, I'm glad you cleared me up because I was calling it the, the Murders album or whatever, but it was the Made album. Made album, bro. Yeah, we were discussing by, by text, was it jamming? He hadn't heard it yet. He's like, I'm awake to buy it. Yeah. He was telling me to say, I'm awake to buy it. And I texted him, my last text to him was, that shit jamming in a motherfucker, bro. And he never replied. I said, this nigga ain't gonna reply. That was Saturday night. So you got it early. Yeah, Saturday night. Right. And that Sunday, well, you know, I got it because of the radio. I was right. getting all the records right, 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 on the radio. Right. Yeah, okay. I, yeah, I had it. Right. And he asked me, had I listened to it? I said, no. So I jammed it. Going to the radio station, and I had a show after the radio station, mm-hmm. and that was my last show. Once, yeah, that was my last show right there. I didn't feel it no more after that. Come on, yeah, it was. I remember exactly where I was when I got the phone call. You know where you were? I was at fucking Best Buy buying made album, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. and you know you walk in the store and hear UGK playing, you don't think nothing of it, no, because this was what's going on at the time, so. They playing it back to back, and I didn't heard. in while I'm in the store, I didn't heard three UGK records. When I'm going, yeah. and when I get to pay for the album, he, yeah, ESG called me, nigga, pimp, pimp dead. I'm like, what, mm. nigga? I hang him down there, mm. like, the fuck you talking about? Yeah, that was man. That shit was bro. And from that moment on, it's been a fucking movie yeah. ever since. Yep, it seemed like my head been spinning <laughs> ever since. It's oh, like man. so many uh. Un- unanswered questions. Yeah. You know. Lots of unanswered questions, bro. And then, you know, you try to put two and two together, try to make it make sense. And it'll never make it'll sense. It'll never make sense. Nah, bro. You know? He had everything to live for. And I wish. bet you, you was feeling the same way I was. I wish I was there. That wouldn't have happened if I was there. Bro, he made you sure know? nobody was with him. That's the that's the part, though. Damn. You know, like, I knew we would have a different type of. Uh, Talk when we do this, but yeah. nah, he he. The last thing he was telling me was like, "Man, shit, the money here. I just we just, I just gotta be here. Yeah, you know, weird shit. Just weird shit. Weird shit. Like, bro, he felt it. He didn't want nobody there. If he wanted somebody there, you know how C felt. C didn't want to be in no damn hotels no. by himself. He no, never no, liked no. being in hotels. No, by hell no. So, you know, he boiled down to who he was with. Yeah, exactly, and. <clears throat> That's a mystery, and he he shields, he shielded us. He shielded everybody around him. He didn't go nowhere without Elga. Elga was the one. He was the, you know, he and died. Elga he died him. with the Masons, you know. So nah, he wasn't there. Mm. He didn't want nobody there, cause you know he felt something. Yeah, he did. He just didn't know what, and he you know if he knew it was dead, he would have been able to remove himself. Yeah, mm-hmm. you yeah. know so. They found him on December 4th, but the last time anybody talked to him was that Sunday night, which was the second. 
Know I'ma get some game tuned in with super tight. Yeah, I get the low love from Big Bobo from the front seat, not no photos.